Okay, now let's calculate the value of elements of the stiffness matrix and the force vector. Here, the calculations are for linear triangular elements, and later we will do the same for quadrilateral elements. So, let's begin with M, right? So this is the equation for calculation of Mij for linear triangular elements. The value of N1 is equal 1 minus zeta minus eta. N2 is equal zeta and N3 is equal to eta. And we have these two equations for mapping the standard mesh element to the arbitrary mesh element so let's use this notation also xij is equal xi minus xj so instead of the partial derivative of n respect to x and y we will have something like this so we are going to calculate the derivative of the norm function respect to zeta and eta, our standard coordinate system. So here, derivatives are respect to x and y. So we, we have this matrix equation, right? And you can see this matrix equation also here. Partial derivative of n respect to x, partial derivative of y respect to x, and zeta and eta and this matrix derivative of x and y respect to zeta and eta right and we can calculate these four elements by calculation of derivatives here this equation 2.70 this matrix is called jacobian matrix right you you might saw this matrix before, Jacobian matrix denoted by J. And you can calculate Jacobian matrix easily by calculation of these derivatives. What is the derivative of X respect to zeta? X to 1. X to 1, right? Because this is a linear map. And you can calculate these derivatives. So, the derivative of n respect to x and derivative of n respect to y is equal inverse of Jacobian matrix times these two terms, right? And the inverse of Jacobian matrix is equal to this one, okay? Also, you can prove this determinant of the Jacobian matrix is equal to two times the area of the triangle. This is also uh, beautiful for linear triangular elements. So determinant of the Jacobian matrix is equal to two times area of triangle. So here we have this equation. And in this equation, you can deduce these equalities, right? Partial derivative of n, 1, for example, respect to x, and so on. So, you can replace these terms into this equation instead of n, i, n, j, and calculate this integral. Because our focus is on the reference, element you can use this equation transformation of a double integral from a rectangular coordinate system to a natural coordinate system right you can see details in this reference this integral right we should uh, use this equation this is jacobian matrix and eta and zeta are 
coordinates of the new reference element and x and y are for the old reference element so if you replace all those equations you can calculate the elements of the m matrix using uh, this equation finally we will have these equations this equation this equation this one this one and this one also you can use the matlab symbolic toolbox to do these calculations and derive these terms by yourself as a practice okay so try to use the matlab software and let me know if you have any questions so you can follow the same procedure for calculation of t and for calculation of other uh, integrals integral uh, of f function you can see the value of elements for f1 f2 and f3 right this is the value of integral for f1 f2 and f3 and also the integral of this term this expression for calculation of pi for boundary edge right for example here this is a boundary element and for this boundary element we have two internal edges and we have one boundary edge so you should calculate that integral only for this edge right and you can see the procedure here and the value of pi actually only the edge number one we have the value of p only for the edge number one also you can see the value here right p1 e that is equal to this expression l12 is the edge length right is equal to the edge length also for p2 and p3 right actually we have this result right when the boundary condition for all boundary edges are Dirichlet, we don't need to calculate pi because the value is zero but when we have Neumann boundary conditions, we should calculate this integral. If we want to calculate this integral, we should detect boundary edges, right? I will explain these details later. So let's use these equations, these terms, and solve our benchmark problem. Also, you can see the formulations for quadrilateral mesh element. I skip will explain later and now let's focus on our benchmark problem right electrostatic boundary value problem and solve it using triangular mesh elements so do you have any question no as of now okay 